giving it any more ether. Okay, it's probably gonna need some more ether. <laughs> Okay, so now you see the importance of uh, having good batteries. So what we're going to do today is change out this wiper switch, and it's just a regular non-intermittent wiper switch, meaning, let's get some power going here, you got off, low, and then high. That's it, there's no delay. So we're going to go ahead and put in this one, which is an intermittent. See, there's on, all those are the positions for delay. And high. And then all the way up there is the low. This is a Cole Hersey part. There's a part number for you. So we're going to go ahead and swap that out. First step is to disconnect the battery power anytime you're doing anything electrical, especially when you're raising this many switches. Um, but first thing after that is we're going to take out these six screws and we're going to raise this plate. Okay, so this is our plate here, and of course a wiring mess back here, and these are all the wires for our switches that we need to re uh, relocate onto this switch here. This is actually, uh, should be plug in for the other bus, but on this bus we had to actually uh, hardwire it and move all those spade terminals over to this one. Shouldn't be too difficult. I have some wiring diagrams that I found online um, off of Bluebird's customer access website. And I was led there from uh, a forum on School Bus Fleet. And I'll go ahead and uh, paste these schematics uh, down in the, the sidebar so you guys can... Uh, well, if anyone else wants to attempt this, that'll help a lot. Alright, so to actually remove this switch from the panel, we need to take the knob off first. And if you look on here in the knob, this thing will focus. Well, there's a little screw right on there. And you unthread that. And uh, then the knob will come off. All right. I already unthreaded this one, and the knob just comes off. See the little screw in there? So I'll grab a wrench and take the switch out. Okay, I have my 5 8 wrench here. I'm gonna take the nut off, get that loosened up. And you can take the switch out. And there's your switch that we're going to go ahead and swap. So I've got the switch all put in now. And uh, that's the old, or the, the new switch. This is the old one here. Big difference in the two. I've got it all wired up. And it was just simple. Move wires to the right location on here. Take it off the old switch and plug it into the spades on here. The only thing I had to do was add a, a extra wire for the ground for this because the delay uses the hot that comes in to uh, control the wipers for the delay and it needs the ground for that circuit. So that's put in here. One thing I wanted to illustrate um, that you have to uh, do on these is that there's uh, diodes in here to prevent uh, back feeding or whatever for the uh, between the wipers for the park circuit. Um, so you can see the diodes in there, these uh, little wire thing with a little diode on there. And that just, uh, it's a, actually it's a jumper, you know, to keep uh, the wires separate on the, uh, the wiper motors. But they're already separate on here. So I'm not touching the switch and it uh, should do its uh, delay here shortly. 
and there it goes. And then you uh, can adjust it. And then one, the first click is low, and then the second click is high. And the wipers stop like they're supposed to. Yeah! So I noticed when I was editing this video, uh, at least the first half of it, kind of see in the reflection the uh, the bluebird emblem right there? Uh, it's actually, you can see it in the earlier parts of this video, but uh, that's gone and it used to say Bluebird Body Company here and had a white stripe that went all the way around this switch panel. So I found another one of these on eBay. I don't know if I'm going to put it in, but you can see it's got the Bluebird Body Company and the, uh, the emblem there and the stripes going around, a little worn away at the top, but... For some reason, these older bluebirds must not have had good paint on there for that because, uh, well, it's worn away completely on this one, and this one still has it. This one also has the uh, the dual wiper switches. They're just uh, regular non-intermittent ones.